Hello, agents. Hello, everyone. And welcome to the weekly update. Tenure is holding on at 4.24. That's up a bit for the week. Really, we're down about 30 basis points for the month on overall uh, rates that the insurance companies use to uh, set their rates. So let's take a look at what we talked about this week in annuities, fixed annuities and life insurance. So the first thing I want you to notice, as I show here on my first page, right, rates are decreasing. We had a rate decrease by 35 points for this product. So it was 560 and it decreased 35 points. So now 5.25. So that ended on July 20th, which is tomorrow. So this one was the last day for this rate was today. This was a good one. So you see these rates dropping pretty decently Um Overall, so this was an A minus company. They have multiple terms, but all are dropping 35. So you see, the three year will actually be even on the high band under 5%. So we're dropping under 5% again on some of these. Um, here's another one here. This company has a 5.4% uh, rate. And this is one I put out. Again, all this stuff you can find on my LinkedIn and X accounts uh, mostly. Um, and what I would like to say about this product is it's 5.4 for six years currently. It's a good company, um, been around for a long time. They're B plus plus rated. They have a B minus Weiss. They have these other ratings here. They're a 50 Comdex. So that's them on their financials. Um, these rates are been active since like May, I think. So they've been active a long time at this 540 rate. And this one pays a 3% commission. It allows all interest to be withdrawn. That's cumulative. So I've been, I've done videos on interest withdrawals. Cumulative is all. So at 5.4% in three years, that's well over 15, 16% interest you can pull out, like withdrawal, because you can take out all the interest. So this is a good one. I don't know how long this will last with the 3% comp and a 5.4 rate. Um, so if you want, that's probably one of the last hot ones out there with a very big company that's been around for a long time. Um Next, oh yeah, this was just an immediate annuity, you know, for lifetime income, period certain. So if you just need income for 5 to 15, 20, 30 years, you can buy these. You know, we have cost of living adjustments. There are certain guarantee SPIAs offer that Rider products don't offer. So the immediate annuity is the insurance product that was actually built to guarantee income for life. And I've been doing SPIAs. It was the first thing I ever worked on in this industry. And I'll tell you, 100% of those clients are happy. They get a check every month and um, or every year, whatever they decide. And then, yeah, they're very happy. So anyway, SPIA is where it's at um, for income. It's the product that was designed. It was built exactly for, to build income um, to clients. So. This was 5.4 last week. They gave me a two-day notice. So like on the 15th, this was 5.4. And then on the 17th, it dropped to 5.15. It's probably the best MIGA out there in the business right now um, because of the company. I've known them, literally wrote my first case with this company when I started in the business and they're still around and they're still competitive. This is a 5.15% interest rate. It's for all five years. Has a 10% withdrawal after the first year, right? It's an A plus rated company. A, A, B, Y's, 90 Comdex. I mean, outstanding. It's a walk away. See, 0%. After the initial five years, you get no surrender charge, meaning you can just sit at never less than 3%. So this is a great one, especially if you go back in time and look just 10 years ago, people were sitting at 1% liquid or 2% liquid, 3% liquid because it was the best rates available. So as we know, we just saw a Republican National Convention where the nominee said they're going to lower interest rates if they get in. So FYI, 3% minimum guarantee is the strongest guarantee in the contract. And any MIGA or immediate, or I'm sorry, any MIGA or deferred annuity you buy currently should have a high minimum guarantee. Anywhere from 275 to 3, I would say. Those are your strongest guarantees and will protect you in the future, agents. It'll protect your clients in the future if they, you know, from a um, low interest rate environment. You have at least three guaranteed on that product. So anyway, yeah, this one also, this company is offering like a cool agent program for this next quarter where you can make an additional comp on top of this comp. They want to bring in business um, to all their product lines. It's not like they're offering it for one product line. It's across the board. So there's no like um, no bias there. Um, next was an article I saw. This was um, from Yahoo Finance. And basically it's saying like women are worried um, more than men uh, 
Um, only 59% of women surveyed reported they feel on track for retirement versus 75% of men. So in the title of this is um, Women Worry More Than Men About Outliving Their Retirement Savings. It's just, It was written by this Carrie Hannon, um, senior columnist over there at Yahoo Finance. So if you guys want to check it out, I thought this was a good um, article. Also, it's something that people have been talking about in this industry the entire time as how you know, women live longer, they have longer longevity, but they're not showing these SPIAs or these other options or these fixed and, um, or they pay attention to these fixed options. But once the women see these guaranteed options, they are more apt to buy them than their male counterparts. Go figure. I don't understand that. Um, reasoning, right? That they have better reasoning in that way, maybe, or they want more protection that way. I'm not sure, but that is historically what I've seen. Um, Females do worry more about outliving their money. I guess maybe one of their sources of income dry up. But, you know, a woman who has a guaranteed income is going to be a lot more confident than one that doesn't. I mean, man, too. It doesn't matter. Anyone who has a guaranteed income is going to be more confident than someone who doesn't. Let's talk about indexed annuities, right? Again, I've done videos on my favorite crediting men methods. An indexed annuity is basically a place where... Clients who don't want to risk principal can go and possibly beat the current fixed rates. So you saw like 515, 550, whatever, uh, and do better. And um, I like the credit mix. It says, I like S&P. I like S&P 500. And I like an annual product. So it's going to give you a number, start number, say 1,000 S&P, which is really 5,500 right now. But let's just say 1,000. And the S&P grows to 1,100. That's a 10% gain. And whatever your cap is, you get 100% of that. So if your cap's five, you get 100% of that 10. I mean, 100% of that cap up to 5%, 100% of that uh, gain, right? But you're capped at five. Currently, these things run anywhere from nine to say 11% in a good company that's going to keep a cap because it's very important that your cap and your renewal rates are competitive and near where you started. So anyway, the number one reason it is a fixed annuity, it offers uh, potential higher earnings and with a guarantee of principal and sometimes even a minimum guaranteed gain. Um, there's multiple crediting methods, not just the annual reset. You know, you can go into a NASDAQ. Down. There's a lot there. Um, I, again, like the annual reset, annual lock-in in any of the buckets, but really the S&P 500 has been historically the one we use. But down NASDAQ, I guess you can use those two. Those those are the type of indices that'll be around. You know, they come out with these proprietary ones and they could disappear in the future uh, and get more volatile. Historically speaking, uh, lifetime income riders. Yeah. You know, if you are going to defer your income, if you're a client, if you have a client who says, yeah, hey, I absolutely want income in seven to 10 years, I absolutely want to know what it's going to be. An, an income rider, whether on a deferred or an index annuity, is a good option because they know where they're going to be in that period of time. And they can always shop the market when they're ready to pull the income trigger with the SPIA to see if they can do better. So, yeah, it's, it's a good thing uh, for people who want to delay. If you're doing it right away in the first year and you're not being showed a SPIA, you're not showing your client a SPIA as well, got to show them a SPIA. Otherwise, that's not really doing a good job. You know, the SPIA for anything starting in the first 12 months uh, should be compared to anything starting in the first three years with the rider. Um, yeah, that's just mathematical equations. They work themselves out really well, uh, and which one will be do better. So next is a range of choices. Yeah. You got, you know, anywhere from three to 12 years right now. And of course you can get a plus quality, a plus plus quality on fixed index annuity. So yeah, FIAs, I don't talk about them a lot because the broker dealers and everything and these new bonuses and all that have really corrupted the market. So I kind of keep that to uh, a little closer to house. Uh, Equitrust is an insurance company um, that's been around a long time. They were raised to an A minus from B plus plus from Standard and Poor's. So anytime you have an upgrade, that's good. So you guys can find that on the S and P Global website there. Um, yeah, so that's the end of my presentation for the week. Uh, that's what happened this week. You guys want most updated information? Follow me on X and um, LinkedIn, and you can get these as I drip feed them out and all that good stuff so hey thanks for watching we're getting along here uh any questions 800-373-969 leave me any messages comments below um linkedin and youtube for the most updated information i hope you're all having a good day have a great weekend and we'll talk to you later Bye bye